Hi guys, this is Angela from Panda Kisses, and today we are going to be making the 4x4 Parker on the Porch zipper bag. So this is what it looks like loaded on my machine, and I just wanted to do a straightforward one so people getting into zipper bags, they can see how simple it is. So I have my tearaway on my hoop. I'm going to go ahead and do the first stitch, which is the placement stitch, and you do that directly onto your tearaway. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, this is what your placement stitch looks like, and it tells you a couple things. One, it tells you where to place your zipper. These three lines right here show you where to place your zipper. So I have a zipper here. You can use any size zipper because you're going to cut off the excess in the end. So it doesn't matter what zipper you use, just as long as it's big enough to go across here. I would use plastic teeth zipper, but um, that's just me. So I'm going to go ahead and place this right here between these two lines. This, see how there's two lines right here? If you place it all the way across, you'll be setting it up good. This center line right here is where your zipper teeth should be lining up so you have this little line right here you can line that up um, exactly if you want like to go like that and make sure it's there I just line it up between these two lines right here and it works just fine now I hold it the next step is going to go ahead and stitch right here and then it jumps and stitches right here it's going to tack the zipper down to your stabilizer I just hold it as it goes and it works just fine, but you can also just get it where you want it and you could put tape up here and you could put tape down here to hold it and that would be fine as well. Um, the other thing that this placement stitch shows you is it shows you how big of fabric you need. You need a piece of fabric from here to your zipper right there and then from there zipper to there and then you need another piece from here to here also your width, um, but that will be the next step. But that's what all these placement lines show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get mine lined up just like that. And then I'm gonna put it on my machine and I'm gonna stitch step two and I'll come back and show you. Okay guys, there's those placement stitches on either side of your zipper, they look great. So now what you're gonna do, the next step is it's gonna stitch your front fabric on the front bottom part of your bag on. So you need to pick your fabric. You can use all sorts of things. You can use fur, you can use leather, you can use vinyl, you can use um, cotton fabric. I'm gonna use this vinyl right here. So I'm gonna go show you how you measure that. You don't have to rely on the designer to tell you your sizes. I always measure mine, I never look at their measurements. So. What I do is I take my ruler and I just put it right up next to my zipper and I measure from my zipper line down to here. You need that piece and then you want a piece that goes on either side of there. So that's how big you want there. You also want another piece up here from your zipper line right there over to your placement stitch up there and also your width. And then you need one more piece that goes across the whole thing. This will be the back of your bag. So you need to measure from here to here and here to here to get your um, next piece of fabric. So you need three pieces of fabric to do a non-enclosed bag, one that shows your seams. Now a trick that I do is I measure it, but then I write it in a book. So if you can see, this is how I write it and I know what size fabrics I need. I basically have them for all my little designs, like that's a vinyl six by 10, five by seven. So then I don't have to measure it every single time. So I went ahead and cut mine already. Here's my three pieces already done. And I actually use a cutter like this so I have straight edges because you're gonna want straight edges next to your zipper. So that's my back piece. So our very first piece is gonna be this one. And basically what you do is you're gonna line it. I line it up right next to my zipper because then I know I will always catch the fabric, but it's gonna basically follow this exact line. So you don't have to be exactly, so you have some room between the stitch line in there. You can put it anywhere as long as it's over that stitch line. I actually always butt it up right next to my zipper like that. So we're gonna go to our machine and we're gonna tack this down. So I will come and show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm all lined up on my machine. We are on step three. It's gonna go ahead and stitch this down to your stabilizer. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, there went ahead and tacked down this vinyl to the stabilizer. Now we're gonna do the top. So I have that fabric cut out. I'm gonna put my edge on the other side of this zipper 
just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch step four, which is gonna go ahead and go around that placement stitch tacking down the top fabric. So I'll come back and show you. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. We have the front of our bag all tacked down onto our stabilizer. So now we're gonna open our zipper. Whenever you put the back of your bag on, your zipper needs to be open. We are gonna be flipping our bag through this zipper. If you do not have the zipper open, your bag won't flip and you're just gonna to have to throw it away. So don't forget, very important, open your zipper. So you wanna open your zipper far enough over that you can flip this bag. This is a tiny bag, so we're gonna be pushing it through this smaller hole. But um, you want it far enough over that you can flip your bag, but you want this over far enough that your foot of your machine does not hit it. Because when you put the back of your bag on, it's basically the next step's going to stitch all the way around this placement stitch multiple times, sealing your bag. So it has to get by right here without hitting your zipper. Okay, so this is about right. Now I'm going to show you some different things you can do. Um, there's always lots of questions on when do I add... Um, different things to my bag. This is when you add things to your bag. It doesn't matter what bag you have, before you put the back of your bag on to your hoop, this is where you add things. So I'm gonna show you a few things. These are different bags. Some people have been asking how you add like a clutch. I use fold over elastic for this, but I can hold this like more like a clutch purse type thing. You could use um, fabric to make this, you could use ribbon, this is fold over stretchy elastic, but this is where you would add it. So what you would do, this is just fold over elastic, you would measure out your elastic for how big you want it, like this could fit over my hand. Then what you do, you place it on either side, any place you want. You could do it at an angle, you could do it at the top, you could do it on the side like I did. I normally do mine at the side, but basically what you do is the, the wrong sides of the fabric together, so this side to this side goes together, so the pretty side out, you put it right here along the stitch line. Wherever you place it is where it's gonna stitch. So like you put it here, it's gonna stitch, where it's gonna go along these stitch lines. So that's how much you would have length. So then I would say this is what I wanted. I would just tape this down just like this. And I, since this is longer than my bag, I would probably fold this over and tape it right here too. And then the back of your fabric is gonna be going on like this. So the way that this, you think about this, anything that you have on the outside of this stitch line is gonna get cut off. So make sure you put the stuff you wanna keep like going towards the inside. I'm not gonna add this, but I just wanted to show you the different options. So this, that's how you would add this clutch hand thing. The other thing that you can add is there's you can add this little thing right here. Some people do this just to make it look cute. It's just full of full, a little fold over elastic right there. The other thing it works for is it can hold a pen. So see how this is holding a pen on the bag? So the way you add that is you measure your fold over elastic to whatever fits whatever pen you want on there. So like this. So right about there, you want it to hold kind of snug so it doesn't just keep sliding. Okay, so like that, you want it like right about there. Now you would do that like down here where you want it. Remember the side that you want to keep, so the loop side goes on the inside of your bag. I would tape right here, and then when you put the front of your bag on it, stitches all around, it will have the little loop for your pen. So that's how you would add a pen loop. You could add both. You could have this up here, and you can have your loop down here, um, but that's how you add those two. Now what I'm gonna do, the other thing that people do, I'm gonna show you, is they add a D swivel clasp thing so it can hook onto backpacks and stuff and purses. I'm gonna do this version right there. So what I got is fold over elastic, and then I got a D, this is called D lobster swivel clasp, it just, pushes like this. There's lots of different ones. This is which one I use. So I'm going to go ahead and put it through here and then you can place it anywhere you want. Again, like I said, it can be up here at the top. It can be here on a corner. It can be on this side. I like to put mine over here. So remember, you want to keep it, you keep it on the inside. So I'm just going to place it right there. I'm going to take tape. I'm going to tape it down. 
the zipper is open, really important, zipper is open. And then I'm going to, when you put the back of your bag on, you do right sides together. So this is the right side and this is the right side. So you're going to go like this and we're going to go stitch the very last step and I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, our bag is stitched. This is what the front of your hoop looks like. This is what the back of your hoop looks like. So we're going to go ahead and take it off because we are done. And I'm going to just take all the stabilizer off. Okay, and then I just clean up the bag. I just take in the stabilizer off too. Normally you don't have to do this part if you um, enclose your seams. You won't have the stabilizer showing. Now this is um, a placement stitch, so it might feel like you're breaking your bag, but you're not. Go ahead and tear it off. Now you'll notice your zipper will open because we have our zipper open. If your zipper's not, if you didn't unzip your zipper, this would not open. So that's, you wanna open your zipper, take all the stabilizer off, clean it up. Okay, let me get this top part off. It's another placement stitch up there. And you just take off. Okay, so now you're gonna cut around your bag. Scissors. So you, there's nothing to watch for. You cut all the way around your bag. That's why I'm saying you're gonna cut this excess zipper off. It doesn't matter what size zipper you use as long as it's on either side of your placement stitch right there. And just cut this off. Just don't cut your stitches. Kind of need some hefty scissors because you're cutting through all your zipper and this is vinyl. Okay, so you got that all cut off. Now you are going to flip your bag through this hole. Now depending on how small your bag is, this is a really small bag. This is a 4x4 four four size. Um, we'll make it harder to flip your bag, obviously, because your hole is a little smaller. And it depends on what fabric you're using. This is kind of like a soft vinyl, so it's not gonna be too terribly hard. If you have a really thick, coarse vinyl, it's gonna be harder to push through. But I just carefully, I just stick my fingers in here and I just start pushing the fabric through, being careful not to tear your bag. Some vinyls work better with this than others. And you just want to flip everything over. Okay. Now I use this right here, this turning stick right here, to get my quarters. Now be really careful because you can poke through your vinyl. If it's not like a great vinyl, it pokes through. I did it with this vinyl right here. You can see right here there's a hole right here i pushed through so too hard when i was turning my bag and i went right through my vinyl so you need to get good quality vinyl so i'm going to just use my fingers for a minute like this get all your corners out okay like slightly pushing on the corners. Just to help me get it more out. Okay, that's probably good enough for now. So here's your little zipper bag. This little bit zipper bag super cute. I have some money I need to give to my niece for her holiday. So I'm gonna put a chapstick in here. This holds like a chapstick. It will hold uh, money. It's cute to like clip to people's backpacks because they can put their lip gloss, they can put um, money. This will hear, hold Airbot, AirPods, um, different little things like that. But here's your zipper bag. It's that easy, super quick. Um, let me know if you have any issues or questions, but that is how you put a zipper bag together. That's basically those exact same steps for all the standard zipper bags. They're just different sizes. 
there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video.